Hi, I decided to do another uh, video today playing around with eMachine Shop. And what's funny was, um, just for practice, before I started videoing this, I, I drew out what I'm about ready to draw perfectly the first time I tried it. And, and then I flipped on the video to go ahead and do this so everybody could see what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. And this is my fifth attempt. So <laughs> um, I guess I'm camera shy. First thing I want to show you is I have moved my um, degrees up here in the upper right hand corner to one one degree segments. So each time I hold, I draw a line and I'll pick a line tool and I'll show you what I'm doing. If, if I draw a line and hold the control key, each time I move this it will snap in one degree increments. It, if I move it fast it'll snap multiples. All right. Um, that's just what this degree thing up here in the corner set. So I'm going to delete this and I'm going to draw a 360 degree wheel and um, I'm going to start off with drawing a 12 inch circle and I'm going to just kind of do this and go through it try not to screw it up this time. I'm going to say 12 inch. I want to snap, turn this snap thing off because my circles are going to be close to each other. I'll have four circles here. Um, I need snap to get to the center. Okay, that was a good idea. It didn't work. I'll move over to the side here. Maybe it won't snap to it. All right, there's my next circle. And then I need another circle. This one. Um, this. Right there. And then one circle a little bit bigger on the outside here. Okay. Then now I want to start drawing my lines. And in order to get a 10 degree, I want to draw one 10 degree segment of the 360 degree uh, wheel. And then I'm going to copy it and rotate, make multiple copies and rotate them and snap them back together to end up making a complete 360 degree um, wheel. <coughs> so I'm going to start off with my first line and my line tool. Um, holding down the control key, I want to make sure that my first line is straight up and down and there's 90. All right, hitting space bar will give me my line tool again. And I'm just going to move out and draw 11 lines. One, one degree off of each. A little tricky to snap them in one degree segments, but they'll they'll go in place. I'm hitting the space bar each time to pick up another line. One, two, three, four, five, six. My screen resolution is really small, so these videos aren't too big. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got to make sure I got the right amount of lines. Nine. Ten. And 11. Now, if I'd have made a mistake, I would not be at 100 degrees right now. I'd be whatever the difference was. If one more, I'd have 110. If there was one less, I would have um, <coughs> 90. Now, the reason I'm at 100 is I'm going to delete off segments of these lines uh, so that the circles will continue and each one of these will connect to each other without having overlapping lines. So now at this point, I want to select all and delete off all the lines I don't want. So I'll click line intersect. I'm going to hit control I. And then um, first thing I want to get rid of is um, these outer circles. That'll bring my uh, 
picture in a little closer to me. And then I want to start working with this and deleting off the lines that I don't need. And I'm just picking them one at a time and hitting the delete key. Now there's 11 lines because I need the circle to continue to go around and it'll, it'll make sense when I start copying these. Um, okay, so we got rid of all the waste on the outside. And we're going to start on the 10 degree mark, so I don't need any of these. Except one. We're going to work on the five degree line, so I don't need any of these except one at five degrees. One, two, three, four, five. And this one goes. This one goes. This one. This one. And that one. Okay. Now we need to hold one upright. We get rid of all the rest of the uprights. Believe me, don't forget to do that because you'll have so many lines on your screen you'll be sitting waiting half a day for your computer to generate the drawing. It's this computer don't have a lot of memory or graphics as it is. Okay, we have one ten degree segment. You see five on each side of the center line, and then you see your 10 degree mark. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this line. Let's see here. Let me click off. Um, I'm going to take this line, this line. Once I get it down to where I have it looking the way I want it to look, which is like that, then I'm going to say Edit, Select All, and Group so I don't move anything. Say Line Group. Okay. Now I have one complete segment. Now, the easiest way to do this is copy these and rotate them into position. Um, so the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to make eight more segments to make up the first 90 degrees of my wheel. So I'm going to click on this and hit Control D to duplicate it eight more times. I'm going to spread these out. <coughs> so I can rotate each segment. And it don't matter where you put them right now, they're all identical. I can put them on this side. I can put them anywhere I want. Um, and we'll just start at the beginning and work our way around. Now, see, my graphics are tar starting to slow down a little bit here because of spreading things out on the screen. Uh, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we got all nine of them. Now we need to start rotating them 10 degrees. Um, additionally for each one so we can put them together. So if I select it and hit the control T for transform or you could go up to line and click transform control T does it and I have it selected on rotate and this first one I want to rotate 10 and if I wouldn't have clicked on that I could have just typed 10 and hit enter. I'm going to select my next one control T 20 enter my next one control T 30. My next one, control T, 40. My next one, control T, 50. My next one, control T, 60. My next one, control T, 70. And my next one, control T, 80. Okay, now that last one ended with 80, but that's because that's the beginning point, not the ending point. So now we'll start putting them together. And they'll all snap together in a 45 degree arc. 
because I turned each one 10 degrees. together correctly. All right, now I have 90 degrees of my circle and you can see why I left that last line off. Actually I should have deleted this line off because on every one of these I've got a double line right here. Um, I could come back and take them out later but see this this line doesn't belong there. Um, it should be just the ends of the circles but we're doing good so far. I'm going to say edit select all group. So I don't move anything and it all stays as one piece. Now, now I'm going to select this and make three more copies of it. And I'll pull them off of each other. Now the graphics are really going to slow down. Pull this last one down if I can pull it away without see which one's which here. Alright. Now, this is my first segment, so my next segment here I want to hit Control T and rotate it 90 degrees. Hit enter. My next segment. Waiting for the computer, hit Control T, 180. Hit Enter. My last segment. Control T, and 270 degree rotation. Now I can grab each individual segment and snap the rest of my circle together. Let's see if I can get it here. I'm waiting on graphics. That snap together. Select this one. Pull it down into place. And when I move this last one over, we should get a little larger picture. All right. Now we're going to say um, edit. Select all, line ungroup, then we're going to say edit select all again, and line ungroup, because we have the groups of uh, 10 degree sections, and now it's down to actual lines. You can see it's on an actual line. So I want to move into the center now and just start selecting these. I'm going to hold the control key down. I'm going to move off the screen so nothing's highlighted. All right. I'm going to hold the control key down and just start taking out these center lines. I don't know if you can hear my grandson in the background just a screaming and whooping it up. He's, he's not actually being tortured. He screams when he has fun. So you can imagine what my nerves are like. And we're going to work our way right on around and pull these lines out of here. And if you remember, I, I said I'd ended up accidentally leaving lines on lines, and I'll show you how we're going to get rid of them. Um, move around here and pull all 36 lines out. Okay, I got my last one. I'll hit my delete key. Okay, if I said edit select all and um, group this, then I'd pull in those double lines where I had a line on top of the line 
and I don't want to do that. So the, the way to do this to get these all these pieces but not get the double lines is to actually select this um, by holding down uh, the mouse button and selecting what's visible on the screen. So it's only getting the upper level. Okay. Um, then say line group. Take it a second to catch up. All right, it's grouped that line. Now, sometimes this thing will pick up the fact that it's got a line on a line. It'll get rid of them itself. Sometimes it don't. I don't want to risk it. I'm just going to grab this and drag it off a foot to the side. And it did see that there, that there, there was a line on a line that took care of it itself. So there's how um, you make a degree wheel. I'm going to go ahead and save this. I've already made one, so I'm just going to call it 360 wheel 2. What did I name the other one? 360 degrees. That's close enough. And I'll save this. And then in the next video, I'll come in and show you how you can actually put the numbers on your wheel and then um, change the numbers so that they are in um, arcs instead of splines. And. Um, your CAD drawing will actually be able to engrave the numbers with the actual wheel. So that's it for this, this video. And finally, after the sixth attempt, I got it to come out. So everybody have a good day. I hope you're enjoying this. Bye.